Endless mode. Fuck that noise. So as always, we're gonna go with suicide because I think suicide is the way this game's really meant to be played, isn't it? <coughs> you don't want an easy apocalypse. Oh fuck! Eat my ass! Oh! Now, I am playing this after I think I'll turn this down a bit because <laughs> those fucking beeps are like deafening me. Ah! Uh, the bullets hurt. The bullets! Oh no! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Shit! Shit! I think it's uh, this, that preacher dude saves my ass, doesn't he? Oh, the screen's black! My bad. Hold up. So oh, fucking stupid. There you go. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon you owe me one or two sexual favors when <laughs> we stick together. My name is Clemens. I used to be a priest. Not much use of those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Sneak. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Who can we count on in a dick muffin? My name ain't Dick Mutton. So, who wants in on the adventure? <coughs> Poison chicken. Me, I am helpful. No, no, actually, if anyone's watching this right now, if you cast your minds back to when we did some of the World of Warcraft fucking the guild runs doing the dungeons, this motherfucker bounced on me so many times. He's like the dude who's like instantly gonna like just jump and be like, fuck it, I'm out as soon as anyone is in trouble. He's just fucking ditches you, man. Poison chicka chicka. I can't fucking get your name in here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call you Poison Chick. <laughs> Alright, Poison Chick. Oh man. But yeah, you just blink out of the fucking dungeon. Just nope, blink, 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 blink. I'm done. Oh man. Alright, we'll get some Francis York Morgan. Oh, balls! I'll actually just call him balls. Are you good with balls? We just, we just did some Left 4 Dead 2 with balls, so. Ball shack, please. Ball shacks. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Ball shacks. Okay. Me, please. I won't fuck up by the cool king. Uh. Dragon lizard. Dragon. Oh, dragon side man. I thought you were called dragon lizard. Right. I'll, I'll, how about I call you? <laughs> how about I call you drag man? <laughs> No, I think I might be able to get your name in here. Dragonzard Man. Ah, Dragonzard Ma. I think you might have to be Dragman. I think I'll just call you Dragonzard. How's that sound? Dragonzard. Right. The man who drags. Who else? Who's the final one? Zombies to be in here. I just remember the Left 4 Dead 2 run with Eric Zombie, that was pretty funny. Um, Snake, please. Alright, we'll, we'll get we'll get you in here, Kelbs. Kelbsy. Right! Are these names correct? Yes, they are. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they'll be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're gonna need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised at room, how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. Alright, so because this is, uh, I've reinstalled the game after we kind of fucked, after my PC fucked up, that we have to do this tutorial again by the looks of it. So chances are, it's like probably reset all of our stats. In terms of like achievement progress, which sucks balls. Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road, I try. With the Bible and a gun in your hand? This dude's fucking ambidextrous. Oh wait, oh wait, yeah, I was gonna say, why is there only three bars then? My people are already dead. That's what you get for driving with a revolver in your hand, you fucking. 
And is it one of them big ass fireballs, not them really small condensed ones? No wonder, dude. Hit a speed bump and it just snapped his fucking forearm. <laughs> he starts shitting himself. Oh, praise me, Jeebus. <laughs> Clemens was bitten by a zombie. This dude just gets mad fucked up. <laughs> Clemens, you dicked up everything. Right, just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Sorry, by the way, if I sound a little nasally. I said earlier, I've still got this cold, and I can actually feel my voice vibrating in my nose. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be, a, they will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out of here while you can. The city is lost. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Looks like we have a time. We have a little problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should be scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that's supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. No, you're bitten. You are fucked. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Can I take his gun? Pick the supplies you want to gather. Uh, so... Um, now I'm gonna be a little bit greedy here, I looked through the Steam uh, achievements and I noticed there is one where we do not start with food, nor do we buy food, the only food we can get is food that we've either traded for or found. Now in my uh, organ trial experience I found that finding food is like just the ultimate way to go about getting food, so can we start with no food? Just so I can hopefully get the achievement if we fucking win. <laughs> let's, let's forget the food, because let's be honest, food can be gotten so easily. You might starve for a little bit, but that's okay, because we can just scavenge. So, here's where I think our resources should go. Fuel and ammo. Ammo and fuel. <laughs> So, here's how I would kind of go about doing it. Check. Uh, let's see. It might be something like that. That's probably what I'd do. Probably something like that. Because you can see here, for one resource, we actually get two tires. Two batteries. It's not one resource, one tire. It's one resource, two motherfucking tires. Tires are expensive. Batteries are expensive. And you started off with two of them, and some fuel, and some ammo. That's alright with me. But it's up to you guys. Watch your vote. So Kelbs, what's he saying? What's the balls to the wall shack doing? What's Poison saying? And what's the Dragonzard man saying? Dragonzard says he needs no food. My round barely will sustain me. <laughs> oh god, we're just gonna have to like take slices out of red dragon's heart. <laughs> Jake, he's out of hungry. <laughs> that looks good to me, says Kelbs. Francis says fuel. Oh, sorry, balls says. Yeah, balls says fuel. <laughs> Do you want me to call you Francis or balls? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> chicken says alcohol. Of course he would. Oh, chicken, you're fucking mental, man. Off your tits. He just says balls. <laughs> balls are a little like happy face. Just call me balls. Right, fuck it. We're going this end. Your friends join the party. So, uh, I think. I think is this me? I think this is me. I'm gonna say poison is the one with the bandito hat. And this is gonna be Dragonzard. This is gonna be Kelbs. And it's gonna be balls. And this is balls. Great, everyone's here. It's just one more thing. Back down the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down there. Why don't you keep my journal? It may keep, it may help you out there. Good luck. Thanks, Clements! <laughs> <laughs> Sneak! <laughs> put down Clements. I'm sorry, Clements. Let me know if the game audio is a bit too loud, by the way, guys. 230 miles to Pittsburgh. So we've got no food right now. So we're gonna be on a bit of a starve. Apologies. 
You took the wrong turn. Oh fuck. Let's just get there real quick, man. Jesus. Their food goes down like mad. You find an upgrade to your car in an abandoned garage. No way! You notice something going on a ways off on the road. When you get out and look. So, our first decision, guys. Kelps! Dragon! Ball chick! <laughs> What are we doing? Yes, no. Caleb says, nope. Nope. Friend, <laughs> Ball says, uh, nah, mate. But Chicken says, nah. <laughs> Alright then, looks like we're not checking it out. Group is spoken. There's a tombstone in the distance. Well, you get out and look. So with tombstones, you can actually find supplies there and shit. So what do you think we should do? Caleb's is scratching their chinny chin chin. Okay, look. <laughs> we must praise the dead. Balls is kinda reluctant to agree. The dragon's just like, we could get ambushed! <laughs> no! I'm sorry, dragon. We are checking it out. Here lies Harry Dredston. He died doing the right thing. You discover one battery near the grave! Oh, good start, good start! Sorry about the whole food dilemma, but we're gonna fix it right now. It is night time though, so just bear with me, because I don't think I'll be able to scavenge right now. I think I have to scavenge it like 6 a.m., something like that. That's when it gets low. All right, let's take a look at the jobs. Bandits! There's a group of hostile folk who have holed up in a nearby building. I think they mean to take over. The difficulty is suicide, but we get $54. And another bandits one. Again, suicide and $45. Hmm. So that'd be totaling to like 99 bucks if we do both of them. We just get instantly 99 bucks split if we win. So what do you think? Uh, again, I haven't played this game in a while, so bear with. How much ammo do we have? We have 200. We have 200 ammo. Only 200, says uh, says Balls, but in, the, or reali in reality, 200 is actually... We can make that last us. We can make it last us. If we scavenge, we'll be looking to like spend probably like four or five bullets each scavenge on a low run, if we're all right. Maybe even less. Caleb says, I believe you can do it, Snake. Ball says, well, if you don't miss. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes have a horrible aim in this. Shut up. So you just got 54 bucks. So, after seeing that, are you okay with me trying to do a $45 run? Bo says, I then. <laughs> Kel says, okay, you did good. Chicken's just, he just wants to dollar. He's just seeing all the green. <laughs>
Dragon came back with booze. Oh god. Okay, so. Actually, let's take a look at the upgrade that we got. Let's have a look at that. Upgrades. So, what have we got here? You can find. Uh. No, no. Let's have a look at that. Actually. There we go. GPS. Never lose the road. So, we're never, ever, ever gonna get lost. That's something, right? That's something. So, right now, our pace is at slow. So, your pace travel will affect your car. Take it slow and steady at 30 miles an hour. Move with a little urgency at 45. Push the car to its limits at 60 miles an hour. Something to take into consideration. Talk to a stranger. My family couldn't scavenge enough food when we left. We've been eating very small rations since the East Coast. Because of that, our health is poor. My sister has mountain fever. So we're stopped here for a while. Shit. Okay, um... So yeah, right now the time is 10 p.m. It is mad right now, so we can't really do anything. You encounter no one to trade with. So right now, I say we rest. 10, so 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hopefully we don't die. Oh, you say you so even though we haven't got any food, you're slowly getting health back. Take care, Encomada. Man, I can't say your name. I gotta learn to pronounce that. Take care, man. Have a good night. Thank you for joining as well. I know that you uh, you can't come due to uh, like a lot of time due to time zones. Right now, I'm just trying to like kind of find a sweet spot in terms of time zones so I can stream for as many people as possible. So yeah, I, I really appreciate that, man. That was really cool of you. Uh, have a good night. I hope to see more of you. It's 5 a.m. It's still high. Shit. Okay, let's uh, okay, uh, keep on resting. I totally forgot how to rest. There we go. <laughs> hey, you're more than welcome, man. Take care of yourself. Okay. 8 a.m. It's a medium. Okay, so is it 10 a.m. when it's like nice? I think it's 10. That's, that's cool. Actually, no, I'll do it to 1 and check them so we actually get an accurate tag. Medium, yeah, okay, so I think it's 10 a.m. And we almost managed to heal everyone to full health. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's scavenge. So, this is something that we're always gonna do whenever it's like. Uh, low. Because scavenging, scavenging is just like a must. <laughs> a mushy mushy. So to save on ammo, I try and kite them more. But these, the crawly ones, man, they can crawl under barricades and shit. But they don't, they don't get one. Wow, really? Only one? Only one bit of scrap drop? That's kind of crap. We need some food. More scrap. <laughs> I mean, scrap's good. We can trade for it, uh, trade with it, and we can repair our car, which is gonna really be a big help. Yeah, ten scrap. <laughs> Sometimes you can get like fifty dollars or some shit, or like two hundred fifty food. Ten scrap. <laughs> I think that was some food. Like really shit amount of food. I think that's like the worst food. They're really being mean, aren't they, right now? Ah! Five scrap and 20 ounces of food. What bollocks. More food. 
I just, for some reason, I felt like a boss fight. I think it's the soundtrack when it plays. It's just too slow and too quiet. It's like, Bleh, boss fight! You know, it's just a perfect time to just fuck you over with one of those. for medium in hopes to get some food but I don't really want to be doing medium too much ah food is sweet good stuff good stuff I have a feeling they're probably faster or there's just more of them I don't know but I feel like uh, <laughs> right now maybe it's just a psychology knowing that you're doing something where it says it's medium instead of low now Ah, no, it's definitely harder. <laughs> so many crawling zombies. So many crawling zombies! Do you guys see my cursor? I think you might be able to. Ah! Oh, it's actually 100 ounces of food. Nice. Okay, so we got a bit of, we got a bit of cheddar. We got a bit of cheddar cheese. And we got the moolah too. So, um, yeah, so let's look into rationing. So, the amount of food the people in your party consumes each day will affect their health. Small, medium, and large portion sizes consume one, two, and three ounces of food per hour, respectively. So, by consuming more food, like large amount, your health will, on the road, uh, um, go down like slower, like very, like, small. If we ration it to small, you will take a bigger health decrease each time an hour passes. So. What do you think we should do? Should we have it at small? Have it at medium? What do you think? Be aware that you can just rest when we get to the thing to recover lost health. I think, uh, Caleb says, I think medium in case anything happens to our health. Paul says small. So we got one medium, one small. Can we turn our sound a little bit? Yes, we can. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. So that should be a bit more balanced out for you now. Small while you're traveling. Oh wait, you're not in the party. <laughs> so random Charlie says, Ration the food! Medium get in my belly, says Dragon's Heart. Right, so I think we're going to stick with medium for now. So what about the car? Our pace is currently set uh, set to slow. Do you want to... Uh, let's, ha let's actually have a look at our uh, fuel. So we've got 6.5 fuel right now, which is okay. It's definitely not great. It's okay. So, setting the pace. Slow, normal, fast. What do we do? Dragon's Art says, floor it. <laughs> <gasps> Fucking floor it. it. 
Take care, bear man. Have a good time. Maybe we'll see you later. Ball says small. What up, Huey? How you doing, man? How did the doctor visit go? I hope everything's okay. He just throws some antibiotics and say, now get out of my fucking face. So, gastric flu? That sounds horrible. God. So you're just like permitted to. You're just like just on bed rest constantly? Man, it sounds like you're in this fucking car with us right now. We had a dude who just got dysentery and stuff and shit his pants and then he turned into a zombie. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not gonna happen to you. You're gonna be okay. Two days exempt from work is awesome, though. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, flu! <laughs> Get inside me! Alright, so we're gonna stick to slow for now, then. Until people suggest otherwise. So let's take a look at the, uh... Let's see what they're selling. Alright, so we got some ammo for 12. We got some, uh... Gasoline for 13. We got some fuel for 13. Some scrap for 5. I'm not a big fan of buying scrap, because I find, I find we come across enough of it in the uh, in the scavenging so I'm, n I'm not a fan of buying food or scrap ever med kits if they're really cheap or if we really need them but in general when it comes to buying stuff it's just all about whether we want the bullets or the fucking fuel yeah well, you get better Huey man you take care of yourself <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky bastard. How much food do we have? Um, let's have a look. We're not gonna buy food because like I said, we're gonna go for the, the achievement where we don't buy food, we just scavenge it. But our food is 150, which is fine for now. Especially on small ra on small rationing. Big time. Right. So really the question is, do we wanna buy ammo? Do we wanna buy fuel? Or should we keep going? Wow, you're in Australia right now, Orf? God damn. The time zone is like polar opposite. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a suicide run. The fuel seems cheap. Ah! Yeah, 13 isn't so bad. I've seen it at, like, you know, around 11, 12 mainly. Yeah, so 13 isn't so bad. And we did come across $149, like, instantly, didn't we? We just did those two jobs, got $99, and then we got, like, 50 bucks, bang, straight in there with the scavenging. So, yeah. See, that's the thing, um, uh, Enko, who just left, he, um, he's, I think he's in Japan, and he wants to attend more streams, but because of time zones, it kind of kicks him in the dick, so I imagine that's the same kind of issue for Australians as well, so, um, like I said, I'm, I'm either, I'm either going to try and find a fucking sweet spot to try and, uh, make everyone be happy with the, uh, with the time we stream, or just, like, do two streams of, on different times, so that people on one side of the world get to uh, get into some stuff and then the other people on the other side get into some streams on a different one. So I'll buy some fuel and then fuck it. Right. Let's get out of here. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently moderate in size and appears to be docile. Okay, so, they're not that big, they don't know what the fuck is going on, we could either sneak through this, or we could just beat the shit out of them because they're so docile and so little of them, we could just beat the shit out of them. You know what, I never say break out guns and clear a path, but this time, I'm breaking out the motherfucking guns, I'm clearing us a path! That's, that's why I vote for her anyway. That's my vote. <laughs> but if you overrule me, okay. America, it says Kelpsy. <laughs> I 
I take it that means break out the guns and clear a path. <laughs> Land of the free! I would say wait. They will just fuck off. No, I don't think they wait. I think I think you just wait to see how the horde changes. I don't think the horde actually can just go away. They just change in size and aggression. You just you just wait if you don't like either of your chances uh, with that current setup. If it's like they're massive and they're pissed, then you're just like, well, fuck that. Then I'm waiting. <laughs> But we wouldn't want to wait with this one because they're not that big and they're completely, like, just not with it right now. As zombies do. Fuck it! Break out the guns! There we go! Got my balls hanging out the fucking trunk. Dude, we fucking gunned him down! You successfully fought your way through the horde. Yes, we did. rat a tat tat You fall asleep at the wheel <laughs> and crash into a parked car. Who does that in a zombie apocalypse unless you have narcolepsy? Who would do that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <fuck. laughs> Oh shit! There's a car in the way. You hit a zombie, it leaves a ding in the hood of the station wagon. Oh my god! Like, we kind of went from okay to just fucked in terms of our station wagon, didn't we? And Sneed, Sneed took a bit of a beating. Did it fly far? <laughs> you question the edibility of some of your food. Yeah, you toss it to be safe. Fuck! Sneed! Yeah, we're with Sneed right now. It starts raining heavily. You'll have to drive more slowly. Alright, left to die. We were just here, weren't we? Guys, fucking Patriot. <laughs> Leovin. Fucking balls. We were just here. <laughs> Deja vu. Alright, so let's take a look at the jobs. Defense. I'm having trouble sleeping. I keep seeing movement outside. Come protect me. The difficulty is normal, so not much of a challenge, and we get 23 bucks. What say you to that? First of all, let's take a look at the, the... Ooh, dude. Bullets cheap as tits right now. Cheap as tits at a titty bar. Yes. So I say we could do this, get some moolah, and just buy back the fucking bullets that we spent and still have some money left over. I like this idea. I say we do it. Right, let's do it. This is where I fuck it up. I just, I just don't need that bullshit right now, you know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, fucking dead eye, man! Look at this shit! No. Shit. Okay, so we got the 23 bucks. Ooh, a grizzled stranger beckons you to a dark corner and offers to teach you some useful techniques for 80 bucks. Take 20 less damage from losing a combat. I think that's bollocks. That's crap. That's a waste of our money. What are you buying? Right, so I say we buy some ammo then. Are you talking about that, uh, from Dust Till Dawn? Yeah. <laughs> it was mental. <laughs> <laughs> At first I was just kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, like I've kind of seen it and stuff. And then, inst and then like, a certain part of the movie, it just completely just goes, whoop, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let's buy some dosh. Buy some dosh? No, buy some bullets. They're mad cheap right now. And the fuel's not bad either. What time is it? 9 p.m. It is high uh, with the thingy. A passenger wants one of your mufflers for 48 of their food. Will you trade? I vote no. One muffler is so much more 
like valuable than 48 food. We can scavenge more than 48 food in one scavenge run, but we cannot scavenge mufflers. We have to either find them or fucking buy them. Like trade for them. There is no way I'm trading my muff for 48 grub. <laughs> Dang. So our car took a bit of a fucking wrecking, didn't it? So, I vote we uh, fucking try and repair the sucker. However, it's how much scrap do we put in to each repair. So if every time we add more scrap, you can see our percentage of a success rate goes up. You can see the more we put in, the bigger the increase gets, kind of. <laughs> So yeah, how much do we want to bet with? I'm okay, so so Balls says four scrap each time. Chicken says four as well. I gotta admit, I think four is good. I think I feel good with four. Let me go with it. Come on, 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 no, I say we do one more repair. <coughs> I no longer feel good about four, though. I don't feel good about four. I don't know why, but I think five's more of a better bet for this one. I don't know why. It's just pure chance, isn't it? So who knows? One more four, says Kelbs. Dragonzar says five. Nah, man. Lucky number four for balls. <laughs> All right, then. Looks like we're going for four. Oh, come on, 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 please, please. I don't feel good about it. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Ah! Uh... Oh my god, it worked! Holy shit! Good call, guys. Good call. And this is why I trust you. Okay, so, it's 11 p.m. We're low on food. So right now, what I'm gonna do is set our, um... Where is it? Uh... Rationing. I'm gonna set it on small because we're at a thingy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep waiting with trades until it becomes a decent time for us to scavenge. So we have trade opportunities and the chance to get a good, a good scavenge on the go. Straight just wanted to trade one of their batteries for two of your med kits. We don't have med kits, so we can't even do it. A survivor has 18 of their ammo to offer for one of your tires. I think this is a horrible trade. My vote is no. This is a terrible trade. Kelp says, nah. Bull says, no way. <laughs> Dragon says, nope.avi. And again, Chicken just goes, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he just polymorphs all of us in a fucking horde and then just blinks out. A stranger is willing to trade one of their med kits for four of your fuel. This, again, is a disgusting trade. They want four of our 8.25 fuel for one med kit. One med kit? You can eat a dick. Yeah, but nah, though. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nope, de nope. Yeah, I, I agree. A passerby wants 15 of your ammo for one of their mufflers. <sighs> Bring the beat back. Now, 15 ammo, that's, we're probably looking at what? Fucking 10? If that bucks, like a, just like a few bucks, under 10 bucks. A muffler costs so much more than 10 bucks. We don't have a muffler, so if one of our mufflers break, our car is shagged. We have to wait in, until we trade it. This is a good trade. I say hell yeah, Caleb says good deal, should go for it, Ball says go for it, Dragon says today's marketing shiz. <laughs> Let's keep waiting. <clears throat> you encounter no one to trade with. Nah, nah, you shut your tits. She likes to do this patrol thing where she just runs up the fence barking at people walking by. You count an owner trade with God, our food's looking shitty, but it's coming close to 10, 10 a.m. so we can get a bit of a 
thingy on. You meet someone who will spare 75 of their food for three? Three of my fuel? I'd probably trade one fuel for it right now, considering our, our food, but man, we can scavenge this and keep our fuel. Fuck no. <coughs> I know we're bad on food right now, but fuck that, man. That's stupid. Chicken says, nope, W. You meet someone who will spare seven of their scrap for one of your batteries. Uh, no. No way. We can get a way better deal with trading a battery. Fuck that. I know we've got three of them, but our car's in good nick, and we've got 17 scraps, so I say no to this as well. Mugum, get the guns out. <laughs> All these deals do suck, don't they, Huey? They fucking suck dick. Has five of their fuel. <gasps> a survivor has five of their fuel to offer for 49 of your ammo. Wow, what a good deal! Holy shit! Yes, I say yes to this. We're gonna be in some shit if we don't take this. Caleb says, definitely. Ball says, yes, please. Dragon says, yeah, grab it. Good shout, good shout. Oh man, look at them double digits. Yes, yes man, yes man. All right, so I'm gonna rest for one hour. Get some of your health back up. And then uh, we should be good to scavenge. And we still got a bit of food left. Yeah, all right, it kind of just worked out. Okay, we still got 120 ammo. We do have to look into replenishing some of that at some point. What was that that I just picked up? I didn't see. Was it food? Hopefully it was food. Because we need it. Ah, oh, you bitch. Oh god. How did I miss it that range? <laughs> Caleb's through 10 fuel at a zombie. Yeah, yeah, that, I can see it happening. Oh, is, is someone gonna beat the dentist record? Is someone gonna beat the dentist record of just breaking shit? Or was it Vamp's record? I don't know, they were kinda neck and neck. At least I think it was Vamp throwing shit. Yeah, 100 ounces of food, sweet. I can try. <laughs> no, don't fucking try. <laughs> that record should stay that record. All right, another 100 ounces of food. You see, and this dude wanted to trade three of our fuel for 75 ounces. That was 100 just then. Fucking joke. I like how you can get so invested in your resources in this game that you actually get insulted at at fucking non-existent people with their offers. <laughs> it's like, how dare you? How dare you try to fucking swindle me? Oh my god, I'm in the shit. Woo! Nice. Yeah, it always sucks when people just wander off and it's like, and he was never seen again. Like what? What the fuck? He just died? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ooh! The fucking money bags, dude! The money bags! $50 that is right there. Ton of shit. Ton of shit. We're looking good right now, I think. Cash dollar! The cash brass monies! Yeah. Yeah, poison blinks off into the sunset. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Uh. He does good deeps, but goddamn. <laughs> but then again, don't you have like heirloom gear and shit? Then again, he's a mage, isn't he? So. Good deeps is kind of like a given. <laughs> but it sucks, it's a lot of zombies.
Okay, final scavenge before it gets medium. Oh, and the extra 100 ounce food. I like it. And we haven't come across a boss yet. Which kind of stresses me out a little bit because it kind of makes me think, okay, so we're, we're kind of like due for a boss now? No. <laughs> no, please, no. No, please. Ah, oh, shit. Nice. All right. So we got so much shit. I can say we can boost this up to medium. It's fucking. Wait, no. Actually, we got enough fuel. Let's bounce. The sky clears up. 142 miles to Indianapolis. Your tire pops while driving over some debris. You replace it with supplies. Phew. I'm glad we started with them fucking tires. Man. Following a wake of vultures has led you to food. A wake of vultures? I didn't know that a group of vultures was called a wake. You find a backpack with some canned food in it. Ah, oh, man! We may find a chair! 142 possibilities to kill a party. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! Three batteries? Wow! Oh my god! There's a massive herd of the undead coming toward town. Hide guns needed. <sighs> I don't know, guys. It is defense, and that gets pretty ugly. Because it's suicide. But three batteries? Oh, my God. Could you imagine if we fucking do that? We'd be just... We'd be, we'd be the, the battery bitches. That'd be our fucking clan name. Like, yo, you got them batteries? No, nope, but I do. We have three already. I know we have three already, but we could double it. This is a time where we either we, we can either look at this as being greedy or look at this as a great opportunity to further our like comfort level with our supplies. The shock jockeys, I like it. I like it. The shock jockeys, yeah. Paul says go for it, batteries for all. Yeah, everyone gets to lick their own battery. But I gotta admit, guys, I don't feel comfortable with a suicide. I do. I'll try it, but I have. I don't know how this is gonna pan out. I really don't. You could burn a lot of ammo to just die, sneak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you could manage it, dude. Oh no, they're putting their faith in me. I really don't want to fuck it up now. Oh god. But you can do it, man. You're so good. Shit. Right, here we go. Oh, they're all fucking chunky monkey ones as well. Batteries! The fucking hours! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. I didn't like that at all. I did not like doing that one bit. <sighs> Whew. Okie dokie. Batteries for life, bitch! Right. So, there's a normal recovery one that gets us a med kit. We don't have a med kit yet. We could either use the med kit to trade for good shit, or we could use it in case of an emergency. And it is normal, so I think we can do it. Alright, let's bounce. So the objective is we just gotta keep running right and then gather a box while avoiding zombies. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, you bitch. And I'm 
I can touch me! Yes! Oh god, okay. Whew, normal my ass, right? Bullshit. <laughs> today's special. What is today's special? A tool chest. Scrap repairs the car more effectively. Okay, so if we get this, we'll be able to get a bigger repair boost every time we make a successful repair. Meaning we potentially use less scrap for 54 bucks. What do you think? What do you think? They're thinking, they're thinking. Kelbian balls are going, hmm. -hmm, -hmm. I was thinking torture says chicken. But if it's not certain, it just increases our chances. Uh, no, it's a guaranteed, like, better repair. But yes, we still have the, the repair chance, don't we? So the repair chance isn't affected. It's just when it's successful, we get an even bigger, an even bigger boost in terms of repairing. So where we might need to repair twice, we could probably only repair once because of the the gain in uh, repairing. So that's how that works. Oh, you get it now. Okay, good, good, good. So, with that being on the table now, what's up? What's... Chicken says, I like it. I like the chances. Okay. Boss says, alright then. Kel says, it seems like it's a good deal. Go for it, go for it. Okay then, looks like we're doing it. Um, let's see what it got for sale. See, you see here that the fuel is at one dollar more expensive. This is, this med kits are just mad silly, mad silly money. Uh, ammo is all right. Eleven is bad. Seven p.m. is high, so we could probably uh, we could probably just leave. What's the what's our ammo count? Our ammo count seventy five. I say I could say we just I say we just leave. We just leave this shit, and we go, we go, we just do our shit elsewhere. That's my vote. So there's our, our stock for those wanting to base their decision on this. Lace the food with the herb. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> I think we should move on. I agree. Let's go. 2012 miles to the farmland. Sorry, 212. 2012, God. That'd be a long, long ass journey. Alright, we'll get you guys rested up at the next place. Kelb. Kelbsy is dicking. Is dicking. With 33 food and accidentally ruins it. Stop dicking with the food! <laughs> Dragonzard sits too hard on 23 food! Uh, it's, it's beginning, isn't it? It's beginning. Do I have to pull someone out the car again? I really don't want to do that. Ooh, bandits! So one normal bandit and we can score us another med kit. So again, for emergencies or for trading purposes. What do you think? It is normal. Leave the donuts alone, says Huey. Those are not your donuts! Those are emergency donuts! <laughs> Alright. He just gave us that medkit, didn't they? We like traded like five bullets for it. Nothing to sell though. Let's see what their look, what their rates are for this. One dollar for food. They're buying medkits for nine bucks. Uh, right. But I'm pretty sure if you put your medkit on the table, I'd be paying fucking twenty-eight at least. So you can fuck off. Four dollars for fuel! St stingy bastards! Stingy bastards! See what I mean? You get so protective over your resources. 
take care of, man. Have a good night. It was really kind of you coming here, man, considering how far away you are. Have a good night, man. Oh, by the way, I ate kangaroo meat at this sushi place. You motherfuckers are so lucky that kangaroos literally live in your garden. Motherfuckers. It's like the best meat ever. Alright. Oh, good job on editing the picture, Jane. Oh, I like it. Alright, let's have a look. No trades. What's the time? 12 a.m. Alright, so I'm gonna rest, rest you guys up because you're at half health. And we're getting closer to being able to scavenge. Oh, is it Leovin that's leaving? I thought off said bye. Oh, okay. Fuck, man. Stay even longer if you want. Why not? Hell yeah. Who, who is leaving then? Bye to whoever's leaving. Is, is Leovin leaving? <laughs> yeah, chicken sleeping. Um, 5 a.m. Let's see if we can get some trades on the go. Yeah, kangaroo meat is like the shit. A stranger is willing to trade 29 of their ammo for two of your med kits. That is ridiculous. 29 ammo for two medkits? Fuck off. Such a bad offer. Two medkits? That's like us paying if we had to buy those medkits? That's like 50 bucks. Fuck that. Keep waiting, you rude sons of bitches. Shoot me in the leg for insulting you. <laughs> A stranger is willing to trade 16 of their ammo for one of your medkit. Fuck, it's still a sh another shitty fucking offer, man. Bullshit offer. No way am I doing that. No way. 70 ammo isn't great, but shit, it's 70 bullets. It's gonna get us through some through a couple more cities. We are gonna be fine. We're not that desperate for bullets. A survivor's 39 of their food to offer for 70 or scrap. Where? Who comes up? Who, these are like the shittiest, like, haggling dudes ever. Just like, how about... I give you some pocket lint, and you give me your car. Just like, what? No, that doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> Passerby wants 87 of your food for 15 of their dollars. Will you trade? Now that, I can kind of... It, mm, 87? Actually, how much food have we got? I don't like it. I don't know if I like that. It's more that it's more that we'll get if we actually traded that amount of food. If we traded that amount of food, we'd get eight, nearly nine dollars. And he's asking for fifteen, and we can find food very easily. And money is always fucking handy because money can buy us fuel. Money is money can buy us ammo. So, but yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do understand that it is eighty-seven food for fifteen dollars, and we do have ninety-six bucks. Food can be scavenged with soaking money, yeah, so it's kind of like, what's the better value here? 87 food or 15 bucks? What, what's the better value? I'm honestly okay with either taking it or leaving it myself. Ball says nope. Dragon's Art says take it. Caleb says, go for it. Poison Chicken says, go, go. <laughs> We're not fucking pulling. You, you cheat. <laughs> go tank pull. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, try it. Keep waiting. <laughs> yeah, you got outvoted. No one wanted to train us. Minority again, as always, Francis. A passerby wants one of your med kits for 49 of their food. See, this is no one knows. I'm not even going to ask for the offer on this. It's stupid. A passerby, a passerby wants 27 of your ammo for three of their fuel. Now, this, I think, is worth it. I think this is worth it. It's like kind of like, it's not that much more worth it. 
really? Actually, no, it is. It is. I think it's worth it. 27 ammo for three of their fuel? Fuck yeah, fuel is like nectar of the gods in this game. You need fuel all the time. Fuel, you can never have enough fuel. Great deal, says Dragonzard. Yep, yep, yep. Taking it. We took it. Right, let's scavenge it. See if we can get some of that, f uh, some of that food back. Oh, 50! Run damn mine. Run damn mine. So now we need to take into account that we've got pretty shitty ammo. And this town doesn't sell ammo. However, we're making money. Oh, yes, we're making money. We're making money. So hopefully we can actually uh, buy all that back. Don't get hit, don't get hit. I think this is probably going to be 65 or 70 dollars, something like that. Yeah! 70 bucks. Okay, some scrap. Kite all the zombies. <laughs> he was just posting a big fat Dara. Oh my god. I didn't need to do that. Oh god, they're coming at all angles. Ten dollar backpacks. <laughs> they are as well! Holy shit, that is genius! Ten dollar backpacks. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh, I need to save that image, man. I'm gonna print it out and see if I actually buy something with that. Oh. What did I pick up? Did I pick up some food or scrap or something? I think I did that just now. Oh, that's close. Yeah, I know, we're really needing the ammo, aren't we? So I'm, I'm really trying to be as stingy as possible. There we go. Five scrap, we did that for five scrap. Okay. I think we have two more scavengers. Okay, some scrap there. I'm hoping we can buy a lot of ammo back in the next, in the next town. Otherwise, we are in some serious shit. Food, 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 uh. uh, That's right! <laughs> Alright, final one and we're fucking off, man. This is getting a bit sketchy. <clears throat> Kitten Zams. Yep. You know it. Oh, the cheddar cheese, the cheddar cheese. Sneak! <laughs> yeah. A bike and follows you out of settlement. Okay, we cannot fuck this up. If we do, we just we should just uninstall the game.
Thank God. It still doesn't explain how the car's not taking damage. I know, right? Just, just go with it. The bullets hurts, man, but ramming like tons of fucking speeding motorcycles though? No. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so far, so good though. No, oh, okay. The rain it starts raining heavily. You'll have to drive more slowly. Well, fuck you anyway. You cannot handle the shock jockeys. Remember? <laughs> Yeah, it's raining now, man. We're super effective now. If they come near us, brap rap. <laughs> you shot confused. A gas can spit off, oh, fell off the car and spilled. Joke. Fucking joke. Uh, I'm hoping we can buy some ammo back. That's gonna be our priority. A rumbling sound comes from behind you. I think it's the deer. The psycho deer. Oh no. Shit. Something you need to take into consideration when you do this, the car has a delay on when you move it and then it overshoots it when you let go. So you have to be aware of that and try and time like your button presses like, okay, I need to let go now and hope that the car stops around here. Yes. <sighs> okay. Sky clears up. And it's coming around night time, so the horde is gonna be pretty nasty. <sighs> Dangerous defense, but for fuel. But we don't have a lot of ammo, do we? So let's take a look at what they're selling. Sorry. <gasps> they're not selling. Oh, they're not selling any bullets. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Guys, I think we might need to just push through. I think we might need to just push through. A passerby wants 37 of your ammo for one of their mufflers. We don't have 37 ammo. <laughs> you meet someone who share 19 of their dollars for one of your med kits. Considering med kits go for around 25 to 30 bucks? But no one buys med kits for that kind of price. They don't do it. Not even the NPCs. If you were to sell your med kit right now, they go, no, five dollars or fuck off. But that being said, we've got 181 bucks. Do we really need it? We probably need a med kit more than 19 dollars. So I'm probably gonna say let's hang on to our med kit for now. Caleb says we do need the med kits. Dragonzard says do it with the trade. Ball says we do need med kits. Poison just says let's push. <laughs> Me votes for the meds. Okay, um, so let's take a look at our car. Ooh, oh wow, yeah, it really does have a much bigger, um, a much bigger, like, uh, potential fucking repair. Alright, so, I really want to repair because we're below 50% and that's never good. So, what should we do? Oh, scrap is all we need. There's, there's gonna be a time where it fucks us over, guys. I... <laughs> but it's not gonna be today! God, that's so bizarre. Alright then. Fuck off. Yo, so shimmy. <laughs> Heavy fog rolls in. You're forced to drive more slowly. I don't trust the scrap. No, I don't. <laughs> you rummage one muffler off a body at the side. <laughs> Imagine that it's just this dude who's dead, but he's like cradling a muffler in the road. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I want to know his story. <laughs> but y'all don't need this no more, Mr. Main. And just a single tear just falls down his face. You get caught in a blizzard. The cold will tax your health. And you will have to drive more ca uh, cautiously. Fuck! Stole his muff! <laughs> the gas can fell off the car and spilled. Uh, whatever. Asshole. Check engine light is on. I don't know why it says that, because that means nothing. That literally means fuck all. Unless it's a foreshadowing for something which I'm unaware of. 
Bandit's Dangerous, 22 bucks. You know the deal. So that's there. Oh god, still no ammo. Guys, we might need to push on still. Holy shit! Medkit scavenger, 80 bucks, check it. Medkits have a chance of appearing while scavenging. Other than, if you do not have this, I've never seen this one before. If you don't have this, medkits will never appear. You have to trade them. Or get them as rewards. But you can actually fucking find medkits on scavenging if you get this perk. What the fuck? Calvi says go for it, that is awesome. Poison says hit it! I think that means yes. Blow through after this deal. Ball says, oh god, yes. <laughs> oh god, yes. Oh fuck, fuck yes! Alright. I say we just fucking bounce then. Let's leave. Holy shit, I don't believe it, man. We're just like, we're not scavenging because we don't have any bullets. But the GPS keeps you on track. Fuck yeah, goodness. I normally don't do this. I normally make the most of every fucking town and make sure we scavenge. But right now, we're kind of like, okay, that's great and everything, but I'm bouncing. Magical blink med kits, yeah. Sparks shoot out the back. You mufflers dragging on the road. Time to replace it. You replace it from supplies. With that dead guy's muff. The GPS still works. Yep. <laughs> St. Louis. Finally! You know what we gotta do. <laughs> we can only buy 40, but 40 is better than zero. <clears throat> Take a look at the jobs. Dangerous defense for four fuel, dude. What say you to that? Oh, muff is dragging. Got a low hanging muff. <laughs> Ball says, hmm, do it. Not enough ammo, strange, says all. More sniffing fuel for me. God, poison, you're mental. You are mental, I swear to God. He's kind of like that dude. Oh, shit. He's like that dude at parties that you go, just so you know, poison's coming. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Did you hide the liquor? He'll fucking find it even if we did. There's no point in you. Fuck, I can't believe I missed that shot. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so made at myself. I'm sorry guys, I fucked that up so bad. Ah, oh, I fucked it! I think because I got bit, I'm not gonna fucking get this repair now, am I? Just a further fuck you. Uh. We don't need to heal up yet, man. It's all good. <sighs> Fuck you, man. It's all your fault. I'm going. I'm pulling, I'm pumping it to five. It has to be upgraded, man. D -d the four ain't cutting it no more. We milked it. We milked it dry. We need to fucking. There we go. One p.m. Low. Let's scavenge, dude. My twitching hand ain't working. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta, gotta ease it up, man. Oh shit! Okay, I need, I need to kill. Oh fuck! I do need to kill the zombies, but with the zombie dogs, I'm gonna just try and. Ah! Leave me alone! Ah, oh, they seem to get so close when they bounce. I hate it. Thank you. Dicks. Ooh, food. At least it was the dogs, not the bear. The bear's okay if you can kite him. 
but in general, the, the bear's just not nice. I don't like the bear, it freaks me out. Ooh, is that, I think that's food. But I think it's really shit food, like, like, 10 ounces, so... I'll get it if I can, but I don't, I don't want to spend a bullet in the process of doing it. Ah! <laughs> I had to spend a bullet then. No, no, this is going to shit. I bet I'm not even going to reach you in time. You fucking suck! <laughs> a survivor's $25 to offer for four of your scraps. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. I say we do that. That's a lot of cheddar for four fucking scrap. I say we do it. Chatting shit behind bears like, you know what I mean, motherfucker. I mean the boss bear, not a super marauding. Fuck face bear. Do it, man. I did it. Alright. I did it. Okay, so how's our party looking? Let's rest up a bit. And let's fucking bounce. Fuck. We still need more ammo, man. Heck of a lot more ammo. Before scrap. <laughs> Fuck the scrap. Isn't four like an unlucky number in Japan because it's like the same as death or some shit? Wait to see if the horde disperses, break out the guns, attempt to sneak through, hire mercenaries to escort you. Who the fuck would do that? Alright, so the horde size is large and the horde disposition is ravenous. Basically meaning if we fight, we lose. If we sneak, we lose. So is it time to get our cinema on and just like bust out the popcorn and just watch them as they just kind of chill. Get info is basically like, wait to see if the horde disperses, allows you to wait and assess your options to see if the horde disposition changes or not. Break out guns means that you attempt to try and shoot through the zombies, depending on their size and their aggression. Let those assholes do it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we fucking wait. So no murka this time. I try it, I try it, but it's large and ravenous. We can try if you want. Fuck it! Take it, you green, ugly, bitch! Oh yes! We're making it! We're making it! No fucking way! What the fuck? We just blazed! Oh my days. That was insane. <laughs> Ball's like, sneak, why? You didn't notice the speed bump on the road. Everyone hits their heads as you fly over it. <laughs> yeah! Good job, Huey. That was Huey's recommendation then. A rumbling sound comes from behind you. Fuck my face. Here we go. Oh no. Oh my god! Fuck! Ah! Oh, oh, holy shit! Oh, this is a real mean one! Ah, oh, fucking dear! Shit, I thought I could go to lower. Fuck, okay, we got hit once, man, which really sucks, but... It could have gone a heck of a lot worse considering those choices I was making then at the last second. Spark, shoot up from the back! Your muff is hanging again! Time to replace it, replace it from supplies. Fuck! You found 27 bucks in the abandoned car. That's pretty cool. Ha! <sighs> okay, we might want to buy that fuel because it's pretty cheap. Uh, bandits, dangerous, 28 bucks. Wait. Oh, we didn't buy this before! It's the same offer! We didn't buy it last time! Whoops! Okay, there we go. Now we've got it. My bad, guys. Holy shit. It's 
five, goddammit. Oh, Sneak, you ball sack. <laughs> 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 you fucking hairy <laughs> scrot. <laughs> right. So the car's repaired. Um, I say we do this job. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was on him as well. Yes. Yes! <clears throat> okay, let's buy the fucking fuel. Uh, oh, gotcha! Oh, gotcha! No, we're not gonna do that. Let's just... I say we buy at least that, though. Fuck yeah. Alright, so let's rest up. Actually, how's the party doing? Um, I'll trade and we'll and then we'll make it the next time with resting and then I'll scavenge. A survivor is one of their mufflers to offer five of your dollars. <gasps> wow! So they're gonna give us a muffler which we no longer have in like in replacements anymore, we're on zero. Five bucks! Yes! I know, right? I know, holy shit. Good fucking trade. Mm -mm. A passerby wants one of your mufflers for six of their scrap. You can fuck off. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Six scrap. We literally just got a steal with this muffler, and they just want us to have it stolen from us. Oh feck off, says balls. <laughs> Dragon's on says do it. <laughs> no. My new, my new muff. You can get fucked! A passerby wants two of your med kits for one of their batteries. We got six batteries, and we can't even trade it anyway, but that's a stupid deal nonetheless. <laughs> Wait, what happened to one of our med kits? We had two. What happened to one of them? Did we trade? What the fuck? What happened to one of our med kits? <laughs> I forget. A passerby wants 28 of your dollars for one of their batteries. Uh, no. I sniffed it. <laughs> a survivor is one of their tires to offer for six of your scrap. Okay, so if we give them six scrap, they'll give us one tire. We only have one spare tire. I think this is an amazing deal. I think we should totally do it. Kelp says, good idea. Ball says, I do it. Dragon says, nab it! Poison chicken says, I'd snort it. The survivor is one of their med kits to offer for one of your tires. Ooh, will you trade? Uh, I don't know, because we're literally just gonna swap be swapping to two and one with tires and med kits. That's I don't know. I think I'd rather take the tire myself. Yeah, we have a chance of finding med kits. Good shout, Poison. Good shout. That is the first logical thing you've said this entire run, other than wanting to inject, snort, uh, snort, or otherwise ingest the resources. No. Good idea. Now let's rest. So the party has some health. Is it 7 a.m. so we can trade for a couple more hours? What up, lovers gaming? How you doing, man? This is Organ Trail, a game where we have to make fr uh, go from uh, east coast to west coast of America during a zombie apocalypse. Uh, it's got me, uh, Francis York Morgan, the boys and chicken, Dragon's Art Man, and Kelbsy as the survivors, and we're making decisions that will either make us or break us on our way to the west coast. A passerby wants six of your scrap for two of their fuel. That is a really good deal. Yes, I say yes to that again as well. We get two fuel for six scrap. That's one fuel per three scrap. That's ridiculous. Yes, take it. 
Dragonzar says, yeah. Will this be going on my YouTube? Probably, yeah. Why not? Be cool if people can, on YouTube can see it as well. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Yep. <clears throat> right. A stranger is willing to trade 70 of their food for 20 of your dollars. Well, you yeah, trade. I say no. Even though we've even though we've got 20 fuel, uh, 20 food, 42 food. Sorry. Um, we're about to go scavenging anyway, and we could do with the dollars. I say no to this. I need the dollar. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, to I totally agree. A passerby wants one of your tires for 25 of their ammo. Ooh, you can get fucked. I mean, 25 ammo right now is nice because we only got 35, but we can buy it back. So I say no to this. Food is an issue right now, but we'll be able to make up for it. So Stick your finger up his ass. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, <laughs> here I go. Right, rest for one hour so that you guys can get your heal on. Okay, let's go scavenge. So scavenge from ten to two, or three rather. Like you're just out there for like five hours straight, just dodging zombies and picking up food. <laughs> you ever watch like like that old ass TV show, Supermarket Sweep, where you're just like you're picking up like really big inflatable bananas and shit in a fucking shopping cart? <laughs> and shit just like butt wild for some reason. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but we're dodging zombies at the same time for five hours. Sneak is the dollar ho. Hey, no, I'm not. I'm the money maker. 10 scrap, we did that for 10 scrap. Fucking bollocks. Snake would take a dick for his team? Uh, I, I don't know about that. Uh, we're just getting scrap, man. This fucking sucks. Believe it! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I fucked up. But you guys don't suffer for this, I do. Uh, my health goes down. But I do, I, that does mean that my supply, like, quantity is drastically low, and I think it's like half or some shit. But sorry about that, so you do suffer. God damn it, why didn't you get us more presents, Snake? You fucking dick! <laughs> I haven't played a part, I haven't played a run yet where the, the main character actually dies. Where he actually gets like fucked up in a uh... Oh god, I need to use a med kit guys, I'm sorry. Sneak. Hopefully we'll find one in our travels again. I wonder what they look like. They just look like little med kits. Because I've never seen like their little, their little small avatar thing. <clears throat> is it just gonna be like a white box with like a red cross on it? Scrap! Fuck off! We need food. Imagine a Left 4 Dead mod where they turn the zombies and the survivors and the world into like using fucking organ trail <laughs> visuals. That would be so weird. <laughs> I'd play it though. Yeah, and, and the tank's like the bear, and the hunters are like the dogs. That'd be fucking 
Man, we're onto something here! Someone do that! Make an organ trail mod. Like a complete overhaul. That'd be awesome. Um... Let's see... We can make the zombies the Teletubbies? Oh god. Like, that actually does sound a, a little freaky. Okay, let's leave. Memphis! Sounds like a bug. You get caught in a blizzard. The cold will tax your health and you'll have to drive more cautiously. Oh, we're almost out to our next location. On the road again. <laughs> Kelbsy has exhaustion. Oh god. All that walking in that car must have really done you in, huh? <laughs> wow, these are some shit fucking payments for dangerous work. You can eat my ass. A yard sale? Buy upgrade. Oh! Better chance to find traders. Uh, no. Nah. I'd rather not get fucked on the road. All right, so the, so the ammo is a bit more expensive. Six p.m. You know what? I'd probably say let's just buy some ammo and let's just fuck off. Yeah, surprisingly, we haven't really been damaged all that much yet. What up, Bear? Welcome back, man. Hope you had a good time on your bike ride and shit. Um, buy ammo. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. How much food we got? 102. Ugh. Okay, let's, let's put the ration on to small and let's just leave. What? A bike? A fucking dicks. It's Bear, man! It's Bear! He's going out for his bike ride! He's calling his fucking friends over! Asshole! Fucking tourists all over the bike paths! <laughs> it was terrible! I hated it! <laughs> Did you know that tourists, right, um, the fucking, uh, islands where Bear lives, um, it's like a tourist attraction? Like, just the whole area? And people act like tourists come around walking into his house. Thinking it's okay. I just randomly walk into his house. <laughs> oh man. And they be like speaking a language you probably don't understand or something. It's like, oh fuck it. Just get out my house. What are you doing? Because <laughs> uh, he lives on a farm and shit and his mum sells honey. So they're like, yo, fuck off but buy some honey. <laughs> Germans. Yeah, apparently there's the people from Germany go to his place and just like, start looking at his house. <laughs> you stop Sonny to avoid hitting a zombie. Whoopa! And everyone gets whiplash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wear your seatbelts, bitches. <laughs> That's normally, that normally, it, like, makes the whiplash even greater, isn't it? Poison chicken. It's too hard on 82 food. You really fucked up there, poison chick, because we've only got, like, Ten left now. You're a dick. You're out of food! Oh my god. Ooh, ball shacks is exhausted. God, his balls are too heavy. I can't be dealing with this. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's have a look at the roadmap. Let's see how far we've come. Alright, so Wow! That's really how only how far we've come? You fucking kidding me? I was expecting like like around here. Okay, let's repair our wagon. Oh, look at that, zero food, bullshit. Bullshax is no longer exhausted. <laughs> that name. Yes. Poison must pay. I know, right? That asshole. Uh, 12 a.m., let's see if we can get some trades on the go. A survivor 62 of their food to offer for one of your tires. Now, I know we have no food, guys. I know we have no food. But this is not worth it. It's not worth it. We can scavenge more. This isn't worth it. We shouldn't take this offer. I don't think we should. If you really want to, if you're so afraid of the food shortage that we're not going to make it, bear in mind that when you rest, you actually heal up. You don't lose health. We can just heal it up with resting. 
He blinked our food up your ass. Yeah, we had a ton of food when Bear was playing, man. He was he was fucking up there in the trees, getting the for getting the fucking honey, and then he was going to the streams and flicking the fish out the water and shit. We had a ton of food. <laughs> I say no to this. Yeah, nah, leave it. Good idea. A stranger is willing to trade one of their med kits for 59 of your food. <laughs> Asshole. The passerby wants four of your fuel for 42 of their food. God no. How's our party doing? Okay, let's rest up. Let's rest. Alright, so what's the time, Mr. Wolf? <laughs> Them birthing hips, yeah. <laughs> rest and scav, you got it, chicken. That's that's the plan, man. That's the plan. I'm hoping we come across a shopping cart. I think that's like 250 fucking food. So that's like, yes. <laughs> Instant max out food. All right, what's the time? 7 a.m. So that's uh, let's rest actually because of the the major like debuff we get, like of uh, of how much we gain per rest. Like you see, it's like really minuscule. Let's rest as much as possible. <laughs> Yeah, where is the dentist today? That little dick. I heard he got a fucking a booster reset on Noskov. He just gets He gets so lucky that guy, I swear to god. Right. Alright, so there's some food there. It's not great food, but it's folk. I think it's like 20, something like that. 20 ounces. I think that's like 10. I just took out four zombies for like five ounces of food. I don't know if that was worth it or not. I don't think it was. <laughs> Come on, we need, we need some serious food. I mean serious food. That's scrap. Unless poison wants to eat duct tape. Shit! We need a shopping cart. Oh, fuck! Even one of those like those like shopping bat, like little like uh, brown bags, paper bags. I'd take one of those. I'd happily take one of those. Just give us food, man. Give us fucking food. Cause I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy it. We can do it without buying it. I know we can. Come on, we've only got like three more scavengers. Come on, come on. That's scrap! That is not what we want! Oh my god, I'm freaking out. We need food so bad. I'm hoping it just gives us a big fat fucking shopping cart, man. Supermarket sweep the shit out of this scavenge room. Right, that's like, I think it's 15 that actually. It might be 15, I don't know. Or just 10. Fuck, we need good food, man. We need good food. Oh. <sighs> Come on, two more scavengers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ay! Some food, but it's bullshit food. <laughs> I'd eat it, but it's bullshit food, so I can't. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! My Windows is just asking for an activation. Oh my god! My Windows just put me out of that and made me activate my fucking thing because my product key doesn't work and it just pulled me out the game. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be a problem, isn't it? 
Oh, wow. Oh, good food! Oh, man. No! Right, kite the bear. Kite the bear. <laughs> okay. How am I looking? Oh god. <laughs> oh, can I buy a med kit please? says yes. Francis says nah. <laughs> Poison says maybe, so I've got yes, no, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm buying a med kit. <sighs> I'm sorry, hopefully that won't happen again. Fuck! Now hopefully, with the hospital, they're gonna have a lot of med kits, meaning that it's going to be cheap. A sandstorm kicks up, you'll have to drive slowly to... Uh, with low visibility, feck. Suffer, Sneak. Uh. Fuck me! Oh shit, whoops. How do you go from fucking fog no, sandstorm and fog. Found some wild fruit. <laughs> yeah, everyone's alive. It's crazy, right? No one dead yet, I see. Something's going on. That needs to be changed. It starts raining heavily. You'll have to drive more slowly. You almost take a wrong turn, but the GPS keeps you on track. Woo! Ah! Oh, it's too scrap. Fuck it, I don't care. Three scrap. <laughs> Wow, it's a hospital with no medical stuff. <laughs> Hawkeye! Ah. Uh... Can't trade, whatever it is they're asking for. You meet someone who will spare 65 of their food for four of your scrap. No. I'm not doing it. Stranger is willing to trade five of their dollars for four of your scrap. Will you trade? That is such a bad deal. Check your rationing. Yeah, I'll check it. You meet someone who will spare 16 of their dollars for 17 of your food. Now that's a good deal. They're literally buying our food for like a dollar an ounce. Pretty much. Hell yeah, I say yes to that. You meet someone who'll spare 12 of their food for one of your batteries. Get fucked. Alright, let's heal up the party. I think my rationing's on small anyway. What time is it? 7 a.m. Rest for a couple more hours and see if we get a trade, <clears throat> or we might rest for another hour actually, depending on the health. Yeah, there we go. Okie dokie, let's scavenge, let's not get fucked. Fuck this scrap, I swear to god. We need fucking oh god, it's all going to shit, it's all going to shit. Woo! 
So I have to shoot the bear to slow him down. <laughs> so I can turn that corner and kite him. Yeah, the main the main character, so me, the only person who can uh, I can only heal through using med kits, that's it. Yeah, if he suddenly walks through that shit, I'm done. Just bang! Ugh! Uh, dead! I think you'd probably kill me because I don't know if a boss does more damage to you than a zombie. It probably does. Asshole. The return of the Windows key. Yeah, I need to get that product key, man, otherwise I am a oh, fuck. It's just gonna keep being a nuisance and be like, nope! Ah, there we go. Good food. See, you see. <laughs> oh, some more food. Not great food, but hey, we've already got good food, so this is just adding to the. Oh! Fuck! Adding to the greatness. Kind of. Wimby, I'm getting bit to shit in this run. Oh my god. This is not good. Oh my god. I might die. I might- OH MY GOD! That's the first time we saw 250! Holy shit! Oh my god. I think I need a med kit. Oh my god, I can't get hit. I cannot get hit. I cannot get hit. I can't get hit. Ah! Uh, 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 just fucking- Get through this fucking scavenge, man. Get through it. <sighs> that zombie had a bit of a pace on them. Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so we're good for food now. But man... I really don't like my health. Uh... Oh, wow. Passerby was 26 of our food. For one of their batteries, holy shit! So we can get twenty, so we can get one battery for just twenty-six food. Hell's yes. A stranger's willing to trade one of their fuel for fifty-seven of your food. Will you trade? I think that's a good deal. Again. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Actually, for one fuel, probably not. I don't know. But we have got we have got 298 food. So I don't know. Dragon says yes. Ball says no. You just got out of the starvation. Uh. Fuck it, yeah, okay, no. You meet someone who will spare three of their fuel for one of your batteries. Wow, okay, so we've got six batteries. Um, and we'll be able to get three fuel if we give one of them away. I say yes to this. <laughs> Definitely. God, yes, says Dragon. God, yes! Ball says go for it. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll boost your depression to large that medium sorry. I'm hoping for someone to trade a fucking med kit. 
You need someone who will spare five of their fuel for six. What? Sixteen dollars is gonna give us five fuel? Holy shit! Guys! Five fuel for sixteen bucks. Oh god, yes! Glorious food. Oh my god. Yes. A stranger's willing to trade six S scrap for 25 of your ammo. Hells no. <laughs> That's like nearly half of our ammo for six scrap and we've got 89. Fuck that. The strangers went to trade 91 of their food for one of your tires. Ah, uh, no. We're good on food and the tires are pretty valuable. The survivor has 16 of their dollars to offer for one of your tires. No way, tires are worth way more. I need a med kit. You meet someone who will spare 5 of their fuel for 67 of your food. Oh my god. That's really good again. That is really good. We're going to be so loaded on fuel. We can even drive fast, probably. We can go fast, man. We can... I've never done that. I've never fucking pushed the pedal all the way to the floor. Holy shit. We can do that. Fuck the food. A stranger is willing to trade two of their fuel for one of your mufflers. That's really not worth it. A survivor is one of their tires to offer for two of your med kits. I'm the one who need med kits. I trade one tire for two med kits. Oh, come on. You meet someone who will spare one of their tires for ten of your food. Wow! Holy shit! Yeah, another tire for ten grub. You meet someone who will spare success scrap for two of your med kits. Fuck! You encounter no one to trade. Oh, really? Survivor is one of their mufflers to offer for one of your batteries. Okay, so we've got five batteries to offer, and he's got a muffler when we only have one. I say we do this, so we have four batteries but two mufflers. One in stock isn't always a good idea. You, you're comfortable with two. Dragonzar says yes. Poison says go for it. Alright. You meet someone who will spare one of their batteries for six of your scrap. We've got so much scrap and the batteries are worth so much, so yes. We just totally we just totally made that battery back with six scrap. <laughs> Uh, I seriously need to make it, man, because I think I might end up in some shit on the road. The strangers went to trade 36 of their ammo for one of your batteries. <sighs> mm, no. We got five batteries, and we kind of need ammo, but 36? Couldn't you push it a little bit more for a battery? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah. Hmm. Ball says nope. Kelp says no. Dragonzar says just in case yes. Poison says go for it. So we have yes and no equal. So I'm gonna say ah uh, yes. I say yes because we got a lot of batteries and we could do with the extra ammo. You meet someone who will spare two of their fuel for one of your med kits. Oh, you're such a cunt. I need the med kit! Wow, we're actually spent. We're spending a whole day here. I might actually be scavenging in this place again. Holy shit. Oh my god. Sneak's gonna die, isn't he? Shut up! Shut up! I want to hear your negativity. A survivor's one of their mufflers to offer for one of your batteries. So again, we will then have three tires, three batteries, and three mufflers. I like that. I like that. Let's even it out, nice and even, Stevens. Let's say it to that. 
because we've been dropping mufflers like crazy. Bollocks. Okay, so it's 10 a.m. So I can actually scavenge now. I've really got to make sure I don't get bit. Ugh. Okay, I got the food back. I'm just going to shoot shit if it gets ugly. I'm just going to shoot shit. Money bags. <laughs> oh shit, seventy dollars. I don't like doing this. When are we gonna find a fucking med kit? Embrace yourselves. <laughs> Embrace yourselves. What's up, Jay? How you doing? Wait until you don't scab him. Please. Oh, can you give me stuff, please? No, you fucking scab. <laughs> Get off. I'm finding yeah, it. Give me food. Done. Oh yeah, I like that one. Yeah, this is the best She's one. She's kind of got a bit of a jewel, uh, a Redfield outfit going on. Does she? Yeah. I like this one as well. Hmm. We're just looking at some of Janie's work. She's she's now doing makeup and photography for a uh, a family member today. I thought this one was pretty nice as well with like the bright colours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've done so far. I'm taking a break now though because I'm fucking knackered. Nice one. There's this one picture, check it out. She looks like mad, like Emma Watson. Uh, Emma Watson, who's that? Hermione. Harry Potter, yeah. Hey, Harry Potter! <laughs> uh, where is it? Fuck. Mm. That one. Do you see it? I can see it. I, yeah, it's I, not I can, like... Can, can, not really like Emma Watson, but I can kind if I was to use my imagination. I can kind of yeah, mold. Yeah, for me it was like kind of like instantly. Was it? it? I yeah. kind of have to like mold her face in my mind to kind yeah. of get that. But like I, how I, I she see is where you're now, kind of. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. I'm gonna like chill out for a bit now. Mm, take care, babe. You can sit here if you want. Chill out. Uh, no. No, she don't like it. Well, fuck off. Oh, sure. You can just get a chair. You know what? Your old desk chair? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sounds cool. Goodbye. Can you make me a drink, please? Can you fill us up with drinky drinks? Uh, well, I'm 
Final scavenge for this for this day. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get hit. I really don't want to get hit. I really don't want to get hit. Oh my god! <gasps> Dick. <laughs> 